Hello class. Um, sorry I'm not there right now. I am not feeling too well, so that's why I make this video. Um, I will be providing you some instructions and some directions uh, very quickly, so make sure you pause and rewind if you are kind of confused on some parts. So let's begin. Uh, first, you are going to go to this URL here. You're going to type this link or this URL into your uh, Omnibox up here in Google Chrome. After you do that, you're going to open a new tab and go to drive.google.com. And last time we created some posters. I want you to find those posters because we are going to give credit to the people who took the pictures um, in our poster. So let's go ahead and open all of them. Some of you might have only one, some of you might have three. So it just depends. Last time I showed you a website called pexels.com, so you can go there. That's P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. Okay. Go ahead and type in the key terms that you used last time to find your photo. So for mine, it looks like it's probably a landscape. Oh, sorry, I think maybe it was doc. So I typed in doc, and here you go. So here is the person who took the picture. I need to give him credit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back to the presentation. And on slide number 23, um, it's going to teach you how to give um, credit to that person. So go ahead and first watch this video. So pause this video and then watch this video in the presentation. And then what you're going to do is you are going to then copy the text right here that I've highlighted. So I'm going to do Command C. So I just copied it. And then I'm going to paste it onto my poster. There you go. Stretch it out, put it in the corner. I will make sure it's white. Maybe take out the bullet points and make it a little larger. Oops. All right, there you go. Alright, so let me zoom in. Okay, so there's three parts. First, we're going to find the name of the photo. Then we're going to, going to find the name of the creator. Then we're going, I think that's basically what we're going to do. But here I want to talk about what CC by zero means. That licensing um, basically tells people that we are allowed to use it but we don't have to um, actually give credit to the person who took the picture. We can use it uh, in whatever way we want, uh, but still, we are learning the skill of giving credit to the person, so that's why we're doing this activity. All right, so what you're going to do is we're going to find the name of the photo. Here's the name, Seaport During daytime. All right, seaport during daytime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and click on this name of photo and I'm going to change it. And I'm going to delete this and paste seaport during daytime because that's what um, the picture's title is. Now here, this is the wrong URL. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back to where I got my picture and then copy the actual URL of this uh, web page. Then I'm going to go back, sorry, and then paste in the URL and click apply. All right, next is the name of the creator. And we saw that it was this. So I, go, I just copied it, Command C and when go back and I'm going to click here and change so I'm going to delete this and paste the author's name 
Now again, this is the wrong URL. So if I click on his this link right here or his name, it sends you to his page. So that's what I want. I want people to click on my link and go to his page and see his awesome work. And then I just paste it there. All right. And then I highlight everything and make it white, depending on uh, what your background is. So if your background is white, then you probably do a darker color. All right. So now we have the name. So people can click on this and actually go to where we got the picture. They can also click here to go to the author's uh, web page. And this just tells people that we were we are allowed to use his photo. All right. So now that I'm done with this, I can actually copy this text box and then paste it onto my other posters because my other posters use the exact um, the exact photo. All right. So next, I would like you to choose one or two of your favorite uh, posters and then you're going to sh uh, share it with me. So you're going to click share. You're going to type in David Lee at kis.or.kr and then you are going to send it. There you go. I do want to see some of your posters. All right. Next, you're going to go back to the presentation, and I want you to go to slide number 26. We have, I have three links that um, I want you to go to. So we have this one, this one, and this one. Uh, this will send you to my Pinterest account, and I basically pinned a whole bunch of graphic design uh, examples and logos and icons that I thought were really cool. So go ahead and click on the link. go back and click on these links as well all right so now I have three Pinterest web pages open uh, and you can just keep scroll scroll down and look at all of the examples of how amazing graphic design um, can be and I want you to think about the message what are they trying to say and I also and I want you to go to the logo design one as well and I want you to get some ideas for some inspiration, basically. And here are some icon designs. So take a look at them, and then I want you to go back to your Google Drive, um, Google Drive account, and then click Create, and then Drawings. And I want you to uh, create your own logo, another poster, or an icon. Um, and you can use the Pinterest examples uh, for inspiration. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.